Alright, so we have a very, very exciting edition of the Perfect Hit Vet Check today, don't we? I mean, this is... Yes, we do. Yeah, no, we do. Get excited about it. I am excited. It. You're very stoked. Now, we are not at the Barrett Station Vet Clinic because I've never seen an exam room where you've got all this uh, maddening marble coolness uh, in front of you. We're actually at iWatch Radio, and you're, you're pretty excited about that, oh, aren't I'm you? I'm very excited. I can tell. You're just beaming. Okay, so... What is that? Are you going to raise the roof? <laughs> okay, so for our uh, special edition of the Perfect Hip Vet Check, one of the uh, owners here, I'll go ahead and expose it, one of the owners here at I Watch Radio is trying to take advantage of my segment and get some free vet care and has a dog with like a red spot and he's really worried about it. So we'll expose the cheap owner, Patrick, and his dog. And would you like to come over here in our mocked up version of uh, the Bear Station Vet Clinic? Hey, Charlie say hi. This is his debut on iWatchRadio.com. That's, that's just too cute, Patrick. Okay, so <clears throat> now usually at the Bear Station Vet Clinic, Patrick, there's not a marble table for the dogs, but we're, we're going to, you know. If there is, uh, the vet's doing very well. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. yeah, okay. We need, to, uh, we need to talk to her about uh, things. <laughs> All right, so here we have your dog. What's your dog's name? Charlie. Really? Yep, that's Charlie. Did, that's did the you best. name yeah, that, I've always wanted a dog named Charlie. Now I have one. And to see people, what you wish for, if you really want it, you can't have it. So what you're saying is this right here is proof that dreams come true? This is it. All right, I won't be sleeping anytime soon. That's my... Okay, so we have Charlie, and you said uh, you said to me that Charlie's got some kind of a, a red thing going on. Let's pretend, if this were the Bear Station Vet Clinic, Dr. Pletz, the perfect Dr. Pletz, what do we do when a dog first comes to see you? Okay, so I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is just get a little bit more history about what's been going on. So we've got the red spots. I know that. Are we we're, are we itchy? Are we scratching them, biting them, licking them? No, not not really. Not so doing you're not that. licking, Charlie? No, I'm not <laughs> licking them. I'm not scratching them. Well, I scratch them sometimes. I pet them and stuff like that. But uh, no, none of that's happening over here at iWatchRadio.com. Okay, nice. All right, so what you're saying, though, is that you haven't noticed your dog acting differently, little behavior differences. No, not really. Really nothing. Um, he's been happy and running around, just doing the normal thing. Okay. What are we doing now, Doctor? Okay. Plus? So, how long have you noticed the spots? Is this um, just that's come up pretty just recently, probably maybe a couple days ago or something like that. Okay. And so, I'm just checking all over his coat, looking mm -hmm. for any other irritated spots. The other thing that can help you figure out because sometimes they itch mm -hmm. when you're not around and mm -hmm. you'll find little matted areas where they've been licking or scratching and right. that's kind of gives you evidence even though you didn't see it mm -hmm. and we do have these spots that look a little pink irritated not really sores or anything but it looks like we're having a little bit of an issue so the first thing I'm going to do is check and see if we have any fleas okay so we don't, I don't, we don't see want anything. fleas don't I, want that I don't see anything um, but I'm gonna do this. Flea, I'm gonna run this flea comb back through here to try to see if there's any fleas that I pick up or flea dirt. Which we we all know what flea dirt means. And I'm sorry, Charlie. I know this is gonna be very very embarrassing for you. Right. Do you know what flea dirt is, Patrick? Uh, I'm gonna say flea feces. You got good it. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> good job. Nice. Very very proud. So there are a few little black spots here, but uh -oh. I'm not convinced. Are you freaking out? You're freaking uh, out. I'm not convinced they are fleas, <laughs> so I've rubbed them in this paper towel that's a little bit wet, and when they get wet, if it is flea dirt, it will have a red tinge to it because it has blood in it, since that's what fleas eat. Um, and I don't see any of that. Okay. Um, so, that doesn't necessarily mean that we don't have Charlie. fleas, it just means that we're not massively infested. Now, mm -hmm. I want to look underneath, look at your tummy, there's no red spots, no irritation, I don't see any fleas crawling there either. Um, so, it doesn't mean that, like I said, we don't have fleas, it just means that we're not infested. Right. Some dogs are so highly allergic to mm -hmm. flea bites that even if you don't have an infest infestation in mm -hmm. your home, and they're not covered, if they've been bitten just a couple times, it causes this type of really itchy, right. you know, irritated skin and, and the behaviors that you're seeing. Right. So, I would still recommend that we do a flea preventative to make okay. sure. Um, but probably, and we don't have any secondary infection from what's going on, but that's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do 
at this point is we'll go ahead and do some cortisone mm -hmm. to make to kind of stop that itching and irritation. Okay. Now make him feel a lot better and hopefully avoid that. Yeah. I'm gonna look also at his ears just a little bit because oftentimes when they're having big ears. I was gonna say it's not gonna be difficult to check out this dog's ears. <laughs> when they I think we can do it from here. When they are having skin problems. <laughs> Having your close up. You know, if the, if she wants the ear, okay. okay. I was trying to say we need to get the ears towards her. So <laughs> if they're having skin problems, a lot of times they're having ear issues as well. And that one looks good. I haven't seen him like scratch on his ears when he, okay. when we first got him. He uh, had uh, ear mites, uh -huh. uh, and that was when we first got him. When we cleared all that, we had to put solution in his ear and stuff like that. But um, he hasn't, and when we first got him, he was rubbing on his ears mm -hmm. a lot, but now he doesn't do that anymore, so. Okay. So how are the ears? The Dr. ears Plus? are perfect. Okay, they're they're very big. I mean, is that normal for a dog yeah. to have? Yeah. I mean, these are some of massive ears. Of course it's normal, ears. man. They are what a little you bit big. I'm not Charlie, saying, he's no. the cutest dog in the world. Well, there's, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, okay. <laughs> it's a very, very cute, cute dog, Patrick. I'm, and he's a good dog. Look, he's he not is. barking. He's not He's very good. Well, when everywhere. we were talking fleas earlier, I thought you was embarrassed. Yeah. I thought he was going to jump. Oh, no. Now the other important thing is that even though we didn't prove that there are fleas, we're mm -hmm. a little suspicious that we might have mm -hmm. been bitten by a few fleas and that means it's like there could be some in your home. Mm -hmm. So you want to do a flea preventative from your vet, Not I don't recommend anything over the counter. And you want to do it a minimum of four months um, yeah. straight, consistent, to make sure you eliminate the population. Other things you can do at home to minimize the um, the population that you have going on is wash all the bedding, mm -hmm. anywhere Charlie sleeps, really wash it in hot water, uh -huh. um, and vacuum like crazy. Okay. Vacuuming gets rid of the eggs better than anything. Well, I won't use the vacuum and I watch radio because what? Joe doesn't like the vacuum. It doesn't do anything, so that's why it's here. It's not my place anymore. You know what? It, I, I've never said this before, and it's a bit bizarre, but our vacuum doesn't suck, okay? And that's the problem. All right. We need a vacuum that sucks. Good one. All right? Good that's one. all I'm going to say about that. I'm glad you're bringing up things that are totally unnecessary for the uh, for the viewers right. out there. And again, the perfect Dr. Laura Plus is not saying that there is a flea infestation. Right. Otherwise, I mean, look, man, she was hugging the dog earlier. Right. right? I mean, if there was an issue, she'd be in a hazmat suit right, right. now. So, but as a prevention, you know, because like you said, right, a lot of dogs are allergic to fleas. So if one jumps on, the dog wants to get that thing off right away. And usually what you discover is the reaction of the skin, you know. Right. And I'm not a vet, so I'm going to stop. There's a chance that we just are very early in the process here. And because he may potentially be very allergic, we don't have a big infestation to see on him. But if we don't do anything about it, then that will happen. Yeah. So, All right. so it's important to go ahead and get him on something that's going to take care of adult fleas. Um, and like I said, it, a minimum of four months. I don't care how cold it is in two or three months here, you still have to do it because mm -hmm. they'll, they'll still hang out in your house and keep going if we don't continue on. You know, she, she, she'll she give you the business, man. She oh, just yeah. really gave you the... <laughs> no, really. Do it. Yeah, no, she that's doesn't right. mess around. That's right. Do you have any other animals? Uh, no, just, okay. just Charlie. Because if you had answered that question yes, yeah. then you would have to treat them as well, otherwise you're wasting your time. Oh, right. So you have to always treat every pet in the house. Always. And treat yourself, too. Oh, well, right. yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, she mentioned a, uh, what is it, corti cortisone? Cortisone. Cort okay. Or a steroid. You're going to give his dog steroids? Yes, Are you we're well, I mean, talking like anabolic steroids. Yeah, but still, the dog could use some. Not in the ears, but I mean, in the oh, legs. No, you know, he's, bulk up. He needs to bulk up everything he's, else he's in a, the he's ears. He's big for a Yorkie. Is that what he is? Yeah. Is he a Yorkie? Yeah. Oh, she's... she's uh, I'm trying to okay. butter him up. <laughs> I got you. All right, now, I'm, I'm actually going to film this. Is that right, you, if I film this? Oh, uh, sure. If I film the shot? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... You're going to give the dog, uh, I can't pronounce that word. I cortisone. Can't. Cortisone. Hey, see? Well, I did it now. All right. So here we go. If the dog makes like a bad noise, I'm going to freak out. Oh, look at that. He's good. It's a hoss nice. of a dog, it's man. Awesome. Nice. Really? You're He's so tough. Good. You're tough. So now how long would that shot last? That'll last him a few days. Um, and once we start the new flea preventative, that's going to really help our cause too, just in case that's what's going on. Um, if he continues to itch, you know, maybe mm -hmm. in a few days when that starts wearing off, mm -hmm. we can give him an antihistamine, maybe some Benadryl, and give you a dose for that okay. to help him along with that. Um, but I don't think that'll be a problem. A lot of times you just need to really kind of break that itch cycle right. with that cortisone and, and keep it from building up right. and we'll address the fleas. I think they'll take care of it. So is it true that we've discovered that Patrick did not have any it's flea prevention going on prior to this visit? Not necessarily. Well, I'm, I'm asking Patrick. There's no, you guys don't do any kind of prevention, preventative? Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, washing. 
Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm, see, we I've covered with the Perfect Dr. Laura Platt's prevention Uh-oh. medication. Now, what what is that, Joe? It means you haven't been watching the Perfect Tip Vet Check at your station, my friend, because <laughs> we've covered this during Hip Nights before. <laughs> prevention medication is key. It's very important. Yes. Prevention is key. What we're doing now is reaction, yeah. and we're doing reaction based on assumption. We don't even really know for sure. Well, I talked to Charlie's mom mm-hmm. and found out that we take a medication called Sentinel every month that is a heartworm preventative that has something for fleas in it as well. But it doesn't do anything for adult fleas. It keeps you from getting a really massive infestation because the fleas cannot reproduce. But if they are, if there are fleas that are coming into the environment and biting them, it doesn't do anything for that. Mm-hmm. So I always kind of tell people that it, it's more like birth control for fleas. It doesn't do anything for the adult fleas, but you just can't have a big... Um, infestation come up. So what we're going to do is switch to something that's going to take care of those adult fleas because that'll help him a lot more with his current situation. And this is like flea birth control? No, no. no, no that's what they're already using. Okay, Oh, so you're already on flea birth control and now we're going to move to something else. Yes, we're going to the hard stuff now. Okay. Um, no, so two options, Comfortis, um, which is an oral flea preventative, and then Frontline Plus, which is fleas and ticks, that's topical. Um, I would probably, in this case, recommend Comfortis. I don't see Charlie being the type that's going to be out in the woods and out and about picking up ticks so much, so I don't think we're probably worried that much about ticks. And Comfortis is really fast kill, Mm -hmm. so that's key for dogs that have allergies. Mm -hmm. Um, The faster you kill them, the less their body's going to react. So I would recommend Comfortis for him. Okay. What do you say, since we're pretending that you're at the Barrett Station Vet Clinic right now, when, in actual fact, we're here at well, I Watch Radio. I feel which is like awesome. I'm at, at, at the uh, the clinic right now. Really? So yeah. So I. I what are you I thinking? Feel good. You feeling I, good? I'm going with the doctor on this one. So you're going to go with the Comfortis yeah, go, then? Right. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just checking. Now, how often does he take that? Once a month. All right. Once a month, and it's very important that you give it with a meal to keep them for from having your tummy upset. Forever. Four months. At least Wait, four so months. Forever, Joe. Yeah, no, forever. You want to be okay? Tell okay. me if I'm wrong. A minimum of four months minimum to get rid months. of the infestation, but it is ideal. To do it year-round. Just what, to keep okay. having what she's saying is if you care for your animal, oh, you'll always goodness. give the prevention medication. I mean, come on. Yeah, Look, right. see, she's nodding. It, so every every month, huh? Yes. You were about to say every day. You want me to write this down for you? Every day. I, will. I know you were about to say that. I don't need to write it down. I would just go to iwatchradio.com and check it over one more time. Oh, okay. So I you have all the instructions forget. I need. You can just pull it up and There it is. There you go. It will be, what, that would be like the first time you've seen the perfect tip no. I checked in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the first time. Prevention is key, and we've discovered that once again. Is there any final thoughts that we have on this special edition of the perfect tip that check? Um, I think just really, you know, pointing out that the more you can just do these medications con- in, a, in advance so that you don't get into any problems um, and make sure you give them consistently and if you see um, any indication that these things are going on get to your vet because a lot of times it's not fleas. Mm-hmm. A lot of people assume it always is fleas yeah. but oftentimes it's just a skin infection or allergies things like that so get it checked out ASAP to find out what's going on. All right, she is the perfect Dr. Laura Plants. This has been Charlie and Patrick. Charlie, look at the camera. Our special guests here on the Perfect Tip Vet Check, brought to you by the Bear Station Vet Clinic and Scenic. He's going to do a trick real quick. You know, here. I'm trying okay, to. Okay, well, he's going to do a trick. Fine. Charlie. What is your dog's trick? I so can't wait to see this. And now he's distracted. That's brilliant. Charlie, sit. That's the trick? Sit. Sit. Charlie, you're distracted. I am not going to edit this. I want to show people exactly how much control you have. It looks like sit. he's going to do something he's besides not, he's sit. He's going to sit. No, I think maybe he doesn't understand he's sit. Going to sit. sit rhymes with something else, Charlie. Patrick. I think there's sit. something else going on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you're a genius, Charlie. So as I was saying, this is the perfect he's tip. Distracted. We'll Would you mind? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As I was saying, this was and is the perfect tip vet check seen only exclusively here on Hypnice at iWatchRadio.com, where now you can see what I'm talking about. Run fast for your-